Stephen Harper became the first Canadian Prime Minister to address Israel's parliament, the Knesset, today, and he drew both anger and applause. His speech was a passionate defense of Israel's right to exist. But as Jacques Bourbeau reports, for some members of the Knesset, the speech went too far. On his first trip to Israel, Stephen Harper is reaping the benefits of his pro-Israel policies. You've managed somehow to find the key to the hearts of millions of people in this country. He was given a warm welcome at the Knesset, even given the key to Israel's parliament. And Harper responded with a speech that doubled down his support for this country, with a warning about what he says is a new form of anti-Semitism. People who would never say they hate and blame the Jews for their own failings or the problems of the world instead declare their hatred of Israel. Harper received several standing ovations, but not everyone in the Knesset was happy. Two Arab members couldn't stay silent, heckling Harper, eventually storming out, shouting about Israeli settlements. I think a, an address that would have been a little bit more nuanced, to call, spoken a little bit more to to the realities of the legitimate grievances of the Palestinians would have been preferable. Earlier in the day, Harper had a chance to hear the Palestinian perspective when he met with President Mahmoud Abbas in Ramallah, Harper bringing with him a promise of a $66 million aid package. Harper bristled at accusations his policies are far too close to Israel's. Our uh, position is not uh, an Israeli position or a Palestinian position. It is a Canadian position of principles. Mahmoud Abbas admitted he'd like to change Harper's mind on some issues. We need to work on converging points of view so that our positions will become similar. On the drive to Ramallah, you pass several Israeli settlements in the West Bank. They're a thorny issue and Canada's official policy is they're illegal. But the Prime Minister won't say that on this trip. Any attempt to have me, while present in the Middle East, single out the state of Israel for criticism, I will not do. His support for Israel is long-standing and profound, and Stephen Harper is making no apologies for that. In fact, to do otherwise, he said tonight, would be both weak and wrong. Donna? All right, Jacques Bourbeau in Jerusalem, thank you. For a closer look at Canada's official position on Israeli settlements, you can go to our website, globalnews.ca.